If you are working in the information technology sector or any of the information technology company, you would have definitely heard about the term called AWS and everyone is talking about it either at the low level or at the management level everyone talks about Amazon Web Services in this particular video we are going to see what is Amazon Web Services what are the different offerings which Amazon Web Services provide and what are the different features functionality and why people are moving to Amazon Web Services from a traditional way of deploying application Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. Amazon Web Services is a cloud services platform which was created by Amazon which offers wide variety of computing powers, database storage, content delivery platforms and lots of other functionalities which provide lots of value to the business which you can easily scale and grow without having to buy huge servers and host it in your in, in your data center amazon promotes aws as a platform for virtually every use case right from your database warehousings to the deployment tools amazon has every type of service for your need let's see what are the different services which amazon or aws provides right so this is the amazon aws website which i am currently looking at if you see these are different services which Amazon shows that they are providing and what I have done is I have created a free account in AWS I have uh, got the console logged in so I have just logged in with my account you can see that uh, it shows tech primers here so I have created a login and I'm just trying to explore what is AWS meanwhile I just wanted to give an introduction about what is AWS so that we can get started from there we can try deploying applications we can try creating a vm using ec2 let's see what are these right so different services which amazon provides are infrastructure as a service platform as a service software as a service or in fact you can use database services like um, relational database services or there are different load balancing services all these are different functionalities which you can, which you can use as a service to your application so first up right infrastructure as a service so the most famous one which amazon provides is the ec2 instance so ec2 instance is nothing but a virtual machine which amazon can give you so if you want to host your application into a into a virtual machine you can buy a ec2 instance so you can go here and then create a ec2 instance of your choice so you can create uh, a specific ec2 instance based on your need with your memory requirements so amazon has lots of data centers so if you see right now i am in the uh, north virginia data center there are different data centers here these are different regions and they have uh, data centers in each of these regions so right now i am in the north virginia and when i create a ec2 instance from this particular data center or region it will create a virtual machine in one of the servers which is present inside this particular region and i will be given that particular machine so i can install all the softwares in that machine i can then get started so this is infrastructure as a service and that there are lots of different services which i'll show you in a while which we can use along with the ec2 instance this is infrastructure as a service if let's say i don't want to manage a machine i just want to leverage amazon's platform as a service offering then we can use uh, elastic beanstalk so elastic beanstalk is where we push our application and the application is deployed somewhere inside amazon's aws cloud infrastructure and we don't care about the middleware components so elastic provides different middleware components like java or python or the runtimes when we push the application these runtimes are created dynamically and our application is deployed in the runtime which is present inside the AWS cloud so that is the platform as a service offering if you have seen my videos on cloud foundry so cloud foundry is the equivalent of the uh, platform as a service which is inside AWS which is called elastic beanstalk so that is the platform as a service offering provided by Amazon 
so uh, these are the major components which people use when they are uh, creating applications either they go for ec2 instance where they book their own machine and deploy applications into that or they use the elastic beanstalk to just push the application sit and watch so how amazon charges us it is based on hourly billing so we will be charged based on every hour usage how much time we have used and what type of services we have used in that particular hour and you can have some flexible billings with amazon where you can have deals you say that i pay for three years upfront you get lots of discounts from amazon so that is also available in aws so that is why lots of people prefer aws because your billing is flexible based on our need so now let's look at some of the services which are there in amazon and why people are using amazon right because there are lots of services which are created out of the box in the aws um, um, infrastructure so that is why people are using um, aws because all these are created upfront and all these are available already and uh, there are lots of tutorials and there are lots of examples which amazon provides in order to integrate these services into our application the compute node provides services of different type for example the ec2 which i was mentioning there is something called light sale there are uh, different uh, other components like batch so where you can run your um, uh, batch processing systems there is something called amazon lambda aws lambda so lambda is the new serverless architecture which amazon had created few years ago where you can have your code idle and your server is not running whenever there is a event triggered from your consumer or the producer your amazon lambda gets initialized and then it serves the purpose and finally after giving the response back it just goes to an idle state so basically there is no server which is running out there your server will be initialized when the request comes in it will be served and then it will be finally destroyed so that is how lambdas work amazon aws lambdas work so the other thing is the elastic container service so this is equivalent to the docker container where you can deploy containers into aws using the elastic container service there are uh, different developer tools like code star code commit these are developer tools where you can um, commit your code changes and you can directly deploy and you can create pipelines in order to deploy into your ec2 instance or the any of these compute nodes here recently amazon has introduced a array of services for the machine learning if you notice here these are the different services which are provided as a part of the machine learning project uh, there are lots of uh, components which are pretty much new so i'm not sure what they are because i'm new to machine learning as well but uh, amazon aws already has services if you're working on any machine learning projects do take a look at these services they might be helpful for you so similar way for the ar and vr there is one service created by amazon amazon sumerian so you can take a look at that as well apart from that uh, the most common features is the storage space so for storage amazon by default provides the s3 storage the simple storage service which you can use as a service in any of these computing design pattern where you can use s3 storage or the uh, elastic file system or even the uh, glacier or even the storage gateway to just store the data and then just stream the data whenever we need it also there are uh, management tools like dynatrace or the app dynamics there are lots of tools which are internal to the cloud inside aws there is something called cloud watch there are also auto scalers which can scale your application based on your resourcing usage so let's say you have uh, a ec2 instance running right let's say we have a memory of about 8 gig and uh, you have a tomcat which is running and which is serving some clients now if the memory reaches almost let's say 7 gig and you can have the auto scaler to scale or spawn a new ec2 instance with the same code which is deployed in the um, first ec2 instance that can be done using the aws auto scaler so auto scaler will automatically create a new instance and just spawn the um, processes parallelly into another instance and that serves the clients as well so these can be done and configured using this particular service so similar way there are lots of services i'm just mentioning the uh, most famous ones which people are using so yeah 
so in terms of analytical data collection there are different services like elastic search servers cloud search um, data pipeline the athena ones etc for customer engagement you can use the amazon connect in order to um, have direct interaction with the amazon executives or if let's say you want to connect to um, different uh, people inside your org right you want to send some mail mail to uh, different people inside your org you can do that using the simple email service etc for security there are uh, very good uh, tools which you can use for um, compliance as well so the iam cognito guard duty inspector artifact or even the amazon aws single sign on can be used when you are using your application to secure your application using the amazon infrastructure so you don't have to manually handcraft stuff you can utilize any of the services which are available here same way with the media uh, streaming libraries there are lots of media streaming libraries and also if you want to migrate data from an existing relational database to the cloud um, storage you can do that using the database migration service or in fact if you want to migrate uh, servers across you can use the server migration service there are some here as well additional to that if uh, for the networking um, perspective there are uh, virtual private um, networks which you can create within your uh, amazon space where you can create a virtual private cloud and you can have different ec2 instances which can be speaking with each other so you can literally create a, a, a what you call a virtual private cloud network and you can have full control inside that network because amazon doesn't provide complete control for their cloud but they provide something called virtual private cloud where you can control all your ec2 instances inside so let's say you have an organization with uh, with let's say 10 teams so you can have all the um, servers booked by these 10 teams under a single vpc and you can host them and control them as a whole there is also the api gateway and the uh, route 53 which are useful for creating dns pairs and then routing the requests into your ec2 instances same way for the gaming and the mobile uh, development there are different services as well so these are different uh, services which are available in Amazon. If you see, um, if you want to read about every each and every service, it it will be, it'll keep on going. You can see that there are too many services. Um, there is a service for whatever you think. All these are already created by Amazon and you can just use that as a service which is available from the platform. You can just bind that and then use it in the application whenever you are deploying the application. So that's it about Amazon uh, AWS. If you are free and you want to take a look at what is AWS, just go ahead and, and um, create an account in the aws.amazon.com like I how I did. Uh, I'll also be trying to uh, deploy applications to AWS and I'll, I'll try to show you whenever I'm ready. I'll try to make a video on how I'm deploying application to the uh, AWS instance. By default, Amazon AWS provides a 12 month free uh, usage so you just have to link your credit card and then you can use it for 12 months and then you can later on cancel that so i haven't linked my credit card um, i'll be linking that soon and then i'll try to deploy applications into the ec2 instance you can also try doing that so that's it about uh, aws i hope you guys uh, got a basic understanding of what is aws that's it for this particular video meet you again in the next video thank you very much